Mr. Chair, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen. It's my great pleasure and honor for me to address this virtual event, Thimpu Ambition Summit, Momentum for 1.5 Degree Celsius World. Allow me to extend my deepest appreciation to Kingdom of Bhutan for taking leadership of the least developed countries at climate change negotiation and convening this important event. Mr. Chair, climate change is a serious global challenge of the 21st century, which demands urgent, cooperative, and shared responsibility to act. Nepal, a least developed mountainous and landlocked nation, is one of the most vulnerable countries to climate change and natural disasters due to its climate variability, fragile geography, poverty, and a high dependency on natural resources. Nepal is facing unprecedented challenges on its path of graduating to a developing country from a least developed one. Nepal's development depends on its ability to build the resilience of the poor and the vulnerable groups to economic, social, and environmental shocks, disasters, and climate-related extreme events. Hence, climate change and poverty eradication are at the center of the development goal in Nepal. Nepal strongly believes that the world needs to come together to limit global temperature rise to 1.5 degrees and significantly reduce global emissions over the next decades. The gap between this goal and between nations' existing commitments made under the Paris Agreement is alarming and needs to be addressed. Mr. Chair, let me share our initiatives towards climate actions. Nepal is committed to submit its enhanced indices by 2020 as well as an ambitious long-term strategy within a reasonable time frame, committing to significant costs in carbon emissions and reaching net zero scenario by 2050 based on availability of international financial and technical support. Nepal will focus efforts to achieve its developmental goals to create economic growth and new jobs by using clean energy, clean transport, forests, adaptation and resilience, and climate finance. Nepal is also developing its national adaptation plan to support implementation of medium and long-term adaptation needs, including urgent and immediate priorities. To implement its adaptation actions, we will prepare and implement climate resilient and gender responsive adaptation plans in all the 753 local levels by 2030. We have robust policies and legal framework on climate change, such as the National Environment Policy 2019, National Climate Change Policy 2019, Environment Protection Act 2019, and Framework on Local Adaptation Plans of Action, LAPA 2019. Mr. Chair, Nepal calls for a collective move for a fairer, greener, and more resilient economy worldwide. That also alleviates poverty and addresses vulnerability. We must close the emissions gap to avoid further devastating climate change impacts and address the key issues of adaptation and irreversible loss and damage. The cost of transitioning to low-carbon climate resilient societies is great and the scale of irreversible loss and damage is growing. Therefore, the scale and flow of climate finance must grow to meet the needs of the most vulnerable. Scale of climate finance, technology, and capacity buildings are vital to enabling our countries to implement commitments made under the Paris Agreement. There is an urgent need for nations to come together and unleash their full mitigation potential and mobilization of support to combat climate change. Thank you.